Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a simple FPS counter. So we all know FPS counter is frames per second and uh, we can just put that at the top right corner to show a player how much FPS they have. A lot of tutorials make it like really complicated but I can do it in about like just 20 lines of code. Okay, so yeah, so let's get started with the video. Okay so guys, so first we're going to go on and go to start GUI, insert a screen GUI, okay? Uh, make sure that uh, ignore guild set is true and reset on spawn is false, okay? And then we could we could just uh, call this uh, FPS counter, just like that. Then let's insert a text label into this, okay? We'll put it in like top right corner, something like this. And then uh, let's just cr uh, make text scaled and I'll change the font to like, yeah, just keep it, keep the font like that. Uh, make sure background transparency is one and uh, textural transparency is zero. And we'll just make the text color white for now. Okay. So now we have that and uh, let's just quickly uh, make uh, the X alignment to the right. So it's like all the way over there. And we can make it a bit smaller. Okay. So just like that. And we'll just like move it over here. I don't know, just to keep like from uh, like the leaderboard and stuff like that to not get interfered with it. Okay, so now that we have this, uh, we're just going to want to go to plugins and then you're going to want to download the auto scale light plugin that's going to be in description and you're going to want to do unit conversion and then scale the position and then scale the size. Okay, and also if you want, you can add a constraint. So uh, uh, it, uh, it's the same, uh, it stays, it scales well. Okay. So uh, next, uh, you're gonna want to insert a local script into this text table, and this will be the only script we're writing to get the FPS of a player. So first, we're gonna do local text label equals to script dot parent. Okay. Then we're gonna do local run service equals to game get service run service. Okay. Then we're gonna do local good FPS equals to 30 so this will be like uh like what what's whatever's considered good uh in your opinion uh we're gonna do local okay fps equals to 15 okay so what, why we need this is uh we're gonna uh change the text color from green to orange to yellow so if it's more than 30 it's green if it's more than 15 it's orange and then if it's anything less than that it's gonna be red okay so that's all we need now we're gonna do run service our render stepped connect function so this will fire anytime a player does something moves anything okay so we're gonna do local current fps equals to workspace get real physics fps okay and then okay so that's what it is and then we're gonna do text label dot text equals to math.floor current fps so uh, math.floor basically, uh, so c the FPS is going to be in a decimal, so this just rounds it all the way down so you don't have a big decimal, okay? And then we're going to do dot dot space FPS in uh, speech bubbles. So it says the number and then FPS, okay? So now we have the basics of the FPS done. Now let's get the colors working. So now we're going to do if current FPS is greater than or equal to good FPS, meaning it's uh, at a good rate, then text label dot text color 3 equals to color3.new010 which is green okay and then we're gonna do else if current fps is greater than or equal to okay fps so basically like uh, in the middle then uh, text label that text color3 equals to color3.new and then let's just get an orange right like this okay and then finally we're gonna do else so if it's not greater than 30 and it's not greater than 15 then it's obviously less than 15 text label dot text color 3 equals to color 3 dot new 1 comma 0 comma 0 which is red and ba this is pretty much it so let's see what happens if I play if I press play okay so as you can see we started with bad FPS as we we're loading in but now we're at good Okay, so let's say uh, we are we we just like duplicate some spawn locations and uh, let's uh, just have the selecting and we start moving them around and then we start just duplicating them. For me, it isn't creating any lag, but or I could just do this uh, local part equals to instance dot new part 
comma workspace and I could just keep spawning in parts. Apparently it's running fine, fine. Let's just do while wait do. Let's see what happens then. Okay there. F as you can see, the FPS is dropping. 28 FPS. Oh crap, 18 FPS. My OBS might also be lagging. So, yep, now we're red, 13 FPS. And yeah. So basically, yeah, that's it guys. So uh, this model will be in the description. And uh, that's the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Bye!